for Castiel, I think the turnabout of the last episode must have been devastating. How's he dealing with that? Or what's he looking at that? What's his philosophical view of what happened? Um, Cass is bummed out. Um, it's hard for him because, I mean, Jack is, uh, you know, Jack is his charge. You know, he sees Jack as his responsibility. And he made a promise to take care of him, and he failed. And not only that, in failing, he's also unleashed all the souls from hell and created a zombie apocalypse. Um, so I think in typical Castiel fashion, he feels both um, remorseful and responsible, and, um, and he's you know, gonna do everything he can to rectify whatever he can, but uh, pretty, pretty heartbroken, I'd say. So 11, years, oh, 11 years as Castiel. What has Castiel meant to in retrospect, and how has he changed you? Um, well, oh God, that's an interesting question. I mean, it's really interesting playing a character for so long. You start to, um, it starts to be integral somehow to your own personality. Um, like the, the character of Castiel feels real to me you know when I start acting as thank you as Castiel it doesn't feel like I'm faking it it's like oh yeah I know that guy he's kind of annoying and he doesn't really have great social skills um, but he feels real I don't know I, I mean it's really hard to articulate but I think the same is true for Jared and Jensen and Sam and Dean um, they uh, those characters are have have become real to us, so a part of us. So saying goodbye to them is going to be like saying goodbye to somebody that you know well, who's a part of you, and that's going to be hard. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah. Speaking of how hard that's been, now that you're walked off the stage from Hall H all the time, how does it feel? Does it feel like a relief? Does it feel like the end of anything? How does it feel to you? Um, I guess there's it's mixed it's mixed you know I mean there's there's some excitement about the future um, like what is it gonna hold you know this has, has uh, is been incredible and we're all really grateful to have been a part of this um, and yet it also has started to feel a little routine and you know uh, predictable I mean I cannot I can't remember discerning qualities of the past 11 Comic Cons that make them stand out from one another. They all start to blend together and so I'm excited about the prospect of something new and adventure. Um, but at the same time, of course, it's sad, you know. We we're all fighting back tears uh, up on stage because we're saying goodbye to something that we love and uh, we feel very lucky to have had. What is the um, you know, I've always um, I've always had a lot of creative projects that I'm excited about that are percolating, and uh, I've been working on a bunch of things, like trying to get a feature film off the ground. And I actually just um, my wife and I just finished a cookbook that was the pre-sales started this weekend. So if anyone who wants to you know plug that, it'd be great. It's the uh, Adventurous Eaters Club, and it's actually I think really pretty good. Um, and, but uh, so there's a lot of projects like that that I have been inching along over the last seven or eight years thinking well I'll do this as soon as Supernatural ends but Supernatural never seemed to end so uh, a lot of them have been very slow going so I'm, a li I'm excited about the prospect of um, you know getting this cookbook out there getting uh, a book of poetry uh, written which I've been uh, I'm very close to done on um, and some feature films and then also I'm gonna try to do less so <laughs> the idea of having that uh, that em that empty space in my calendar where supernatural shooting used to be is really a thrill to me um, so I'm sort of thinking of next year as a sabbatical year you had a question right oh yes I, I wanted to ask you are you getting the ending you wanted for Castillo and this is last question. I don't know because these motherfuckers won't tell me the ending. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 
there was a uh, there was like oh, like oh yeah let's talk about the ending uh, conversation sitting around a table and uh, and Jensen was there and the writers were there and Jensen knew and the writers knew and I was like yeah yeah tell me and then they decided to be a funny joke to not tell me and now <laughs> it's getting mean <laughs> I'm gonna egg their houses. Yeah. <laughs>